Hello friends, today I have with me a video on the brain of the cell, the nucleus. In cell biology, the nucleus is a membrane-bound organelle found in eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotes usually have a single nucleus, but a few cell types such as mammalian red blood cells, RBCs or erythrocytes have no nucleus. And a few others including muscle cells have many nucleus. The main structures making up the nucleus are the nuclear envelope, a double membrane that encloses the entire organelle and isolates its content from the cellular cytoplasm, and the nuclear matrix, a network within the nucleus that adds mechanical support, much like the cytoskeleton supports the cell as a whole. So let's talk about the nuclear membrane. The nuclear membrane is present in both the plant and animal cells. Cells carry out a multitude of functions such as protein building, conversion of molecules into energy and elimination of unnecessary products. This membrane guards the genetic material of the cells against the exterior of the nucleus where chemical reactions are taking place. Also, it carries several proteins which are crucial in the organization of DNA and to control genes. So now let's talk about the different parts of the nuclear membrane. First comes outer membrane. The outer membrane is a lipid bilayer containing two layers of molecules of lipid. The outer layer is made up of lipids which have ribosomes on the surface that are linked to the endoplasmic reticulum. Now let's talk about the inner membrane. It contains proteins that rearrange the nucleus and chain the genetic material in position. The nuclear lamina is the attachment of proteins and fibers that are linked to the inner membrane. It provides structural support to the nucleus, assists in DNA repair, controls cell cycle events such as cell division and also DNA replication. So now let's talk about nuclear pores. They move through both the inner and outer membranes of the nuclear membrane and are composed of large complex proteins which allow a few molecules to permeate by the nuclear envelope. Each of the nuclear pores consists of 30 distinct proteins which operate together to transfer materials. Also, they link the inner and outer membrane. So now let's move on to nucleoplasm. Nucleoplasm is a remarkably viscous liquid that contains the nuclear hyaloplasm which is the more soluble and liquid portion of the nucleoplasm. It is a type of protoplasm that is similar to the cytoplasm which is present throughout the cell body to the exterior of the nucleus. As specific functions are carried out inside the nucleus, a different type of protoplasm is required. The constituents of the nucleoplasm are water, dissolved ions and a blend of other substances. This element is completely confined in the nuclear envelope containing nucleotides and crucial enzymes that promote replication. Contained within the nucleus is a dense membraneless structure composed of RNA and proteins called the nucleolus. Some of the eukaryotic organisms have a nucleus that contains up to four nucleoli. The nucleolus contains nucleolar organizers which are parts of chromosomes with the genes for ribosome synthesis on them. The nucleolus helps to synthesize ribosomes by transcribing and assembling ribosomal RNA subunits. These subunits join together to form a ribosome during protein synthesis. The nucleolus disappears when a cell undergoes division and is reformed after the completion of cell division. Now we will talk about the most important part of the nucleus, chromosomes. Chromosomes consist of DNA which contains hereditary information and instructions for cell growth, development and reproduction. Chromosomes are present in the form of strings of DNA and histones called chromatin. When a cell is resting, that is not dividing, the chromosomes are organized into long entangled structures called chromatin. The chromatin is further classified into heterochromatin and euchromatin based on the functions. The former type is a highly condensed, transcriptionally inactive form, mostly present adjacent to the nuclear membrane. On the other hand, euchromatin is a delicate, less condensed organization of chromatin. Please check out my video on cells. Link is provided in the description box. Thanks for watching.